Welcome to Faux Real. My name is Alex. On today's video, I'm going to answer a lot of your questions on how do I always get the most amazing fall bags. So I'll share you all my tips, all my experience in buying uh, buying them and comparing it with my authentic and um, and then hopefully that's going to answer a lot of questions and clarify things as well. So number one is finding the right trusted seller. When I said right, there's a lot of bag sellers out there. You want to go with a private seller. Private sellers normally have the best amazing stuff. Uh, don't go with DHgate. Don't go with wherever, like the cheaper ones, you know, I, I always go for the highest quality one and I always uh, stick with working one or two or three maximum sellers. So if I have an issue, I've already built, uh, built a relationship with this uh, seller. I can just communicate quickly and I won't be scared about, oh my gosh, I didn't get my bag. So I always try to go with one, two, three maximum sellers and stick with that seller and as long as I'm happy with that seller. Number two, always go for the highest quality, which means the most expensive one, okay? You're not always gonna find the uh, exact style that you're looking for for the highest quality. For example, I work with, uh, I get my stuff a lot from First Bag RU and they have um, original quality, they have super grade and they have top grade. I always go for original quality. That means it's mirror quality like the original. So sometimes I do buy and use full bags is because I want to test it out. Uh, I don't want to like make a mistake of buying the original and then it doesn't work out for my lifestyle. Majority, that's the reason. Um, and also sometimes I don't want to get swept in with tr trends or anything that's gonna go way after it, I lose a lot of money, okay? That is my biggest motivation why I get them. I don't wanna lose money. So when I do go for the fall run, of course, I want the best, best of the best. And then, so I always go for original one first. Mirror quality, whatever you wanna call it. It's like the exact almost copy. And they will run up from high 200s to 300s to 400 to even thousands of dollars, I've seen it. So it just depends on um, what you really can spend. But if, you know, I wouldn't ever go for like uh, the lowest one. I've gone for the top grade, which is the second down from original with, at least with First Bag RU. There's many different types of quality with other designer, like slow quality, medium quality, high quality. So with that, I will go with high quality. Um, and, and so I always go for the highest one and Sometimes I will, I don't find the one that I like from the, you know, the most expensive, highest quality one, then I'll go with the top grade. And I look at it closely because then I look at the original, I want to make sure they are still pretty good the same. If I'm buying also original quality or medium quality, I always look at the original, see and compare. The number one giveaway with Chanel bags most of the time is the hardware and the stitching or the puff or the quilting. Those ones I always look at, make sure, okay, I look at the original and see if it's close enough, then uh, I go for the ones that I think is not noticeably. They don't always want, can't uh, accept like payments that people might eventually cancel and they get the bag and they cancel it and they, they can't really fight it because they're selling this kind of unregulated items. And so sometimes you would have to pay like bank transfer um, or like PayPal. PayPal is not bad. I would recommend PayPal. But if you built that trust and communication with that seller, you wouldn't be, you would be comfortable just paying them like directly. I think that's why a lot of people really stay away from it. They're not sure if you're going to get uh, the bag and it's secured and it's your uh, you're protected. So at the end of the day, just make sure if you can always opt for the PayPal route where you can um, deny the charge if you never get the item. So with that said about getting the item, depends on where you are. Now I've received my item um, seven days. Uh, normally they get to me real fast. I've gotten it as fast as four days just depends where you are and if it goes through customs. Now, they check it and sometimes when the bag is caught, they just toss it away. Then you just have to contact the seller, hey, what happened? And they, they're gonna just send you a new one. They will, that's what happens. But 
just be aware that sometimes that could happen, delay your product. And also a lot of this private seller, they have to order the item sometimes from the manufacturer or the um, warehouse or something. If they don't have it and they have to make it, sometimes it could take months, like a month sometimes. I've heard somebody got their item after a month because they have to pre-order uh, it. It's not necessarily available. So I would also um, suggest that you communicate with the person or the seller that, hey, how long is it gonna take to get to me? Is it available already? Uh, is it ready to ship? Because you don't want that item to get to you too far when you need it. For example, if you bought it for a reason and you want it to use it for that day, you wanna make sure it gets to you on time, right? Also, I would suggest that if you can ask the seller to send you photos of the bag before they send it to you because sometimes they don't go through like really good quality check, okay? They're just really checking it. I've gotten like damaged bag before and they sent me a new one, no problem. They let me keep the original, it's kind of nice, right? So it's not like, oh my God, I'm out. No, they will work with you. So you just have to again, select that trusted seller. And I've worked with first bag I use so many times and I always just trust her. Sometimes she doesn't respond right away, but I just wait sometimes a week, <laughs> unfortunately. You know, if I really want an item, then I just really wait for her. Or I could go with an another seller, blah, 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 lug, I think, and maybe, um, Oh gosh, I'm blanking out. There's another seller that I also like. So it just depends. Like if I need the item right away, then I might go with another seller. But normally I just get my item because I'm, I trust her and we have this relationship that we build together. So just again, if, you, if you're worried about your item having defects, just ask to have you send you the photos, the actual bag that they're gonna ship to you before they ship it, if it's possible. Sometimes they might not have it on their hand, they can send the photo, but just ask them also, hey, what if there's something wrong with it, then you know, maybe uh, they'll send you, an, what, what would be re resolution? Are they gonna send you back? Every seller is different, so you just have to be careful of who you work with. Now, let me show you just the bags that I got and uh, where I got them, okay? I wasn't kidding when I told you I get amazing bags. Here is the fake and here's the authentic. It's crazy, right? My, my fake one looks better now than the authentic. So a lot of the, uh, the fall bags, they're, the leather feels more rough, uh, more, um, it's not as soft as the authentic, this one does feel it. And then, you know, it just looks really amazing. And so I'm just really kind of sad in a way. I'm gonna do a comparison between the two because this bag I barely use maybe 10 times out of the whole two years I've had her. I, I've used it, but so much wrinkling. So sometimes this is why, oh gosh. Anyway, look how amazing this one's look, right? This one, oh, and then this this one I got from First Bag RU. This one I also get from First Bag RU. The leather feels really, really soft and the quilting and the stitching looks amazing. Somebody made a comment that you can tell by the handle. I haven't looked at the authentic one, but maybe she's right. You can see maybe it's not completely like uh, even, right? It's not even nice rounded shape. Yeah, so sometimes they will be off on some things, but you know, even the authentic one has so much issue, so I don't really care. I believe this one I got, oh gosh, either First Bag RU or that's the other site that I'm really blanking on, but this is my favorite, favorite fall bags I ever got. I wanted to get the original, but they just go for so much money, but this one actually just does the job and I'm really, really happy with this. And none of these uh, bags has fallen out. Like any embellishments that's there, I've used this a lot. I've used this more often than my other authentic bags and none of the embellishments falls out. So if you're worried about, oh, how long they stayed, I've had couple, several full bags in my collections that's been used up. Oh, let me show you. This one I use so much for travel beat up, uh, toss around. I never care, it gets rained on and looks still amazing. This is my other favorite one. Um, I wanted to get this authentic, but once I got this, 
no need i honestly think i don't need to get the authentic this one looks as close as the authentic so this is my other favorite super used super used no problem no issues yet and then i have this gorgeous kelly bag that i recently got this one also surprisingly looks really really great it looks so close to the original no problem yeah um i'm just you know i'm so i'm satisfied with these i don't have the need to buy trendy or anything that won't last long or something that won't fit with my lifestyle i will never have that thousands of dollars regret which is yeah it's kind of kind of nice and then the last one i think this one is from baba balag or I, they keep changing their name baba bala or something but this is also a favorite it looks so good look how amazing this bag is so rare and unique you can't get the authentic because they stopped making them in the stock caviar leather but this comes very very close to me so yeah uh if you have further questions you can just uh, leave a comment down below and uh, i can respond to you as soon as i can and hope this was at least informative. If I miss any question, I apologize. Just, I will answer it in the comment box below. Just leave me a question, all right? Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you next time. Bye, ciao for now.